I'm Gabrielle Abbott and I'm an artist in Seattle. I always knew that I wanted to become an artist even when I was a small child. And after high school, I went to art school and hated it and dropped out and ended up traveling around and searching for my path and eventually found an apprenticeship program in Italy where I studied traditional oil painting and portraiture. And that was really my uh, the start of my art career. From age 15 to 30, I worked as a waitress part-time while I was building my career and eventually like went on to get a master's and, and now doing art full-time, mostly as a muralist. So I first got into van life um, at age 19. I was traveling in New Zealand and bought a van with my boyfriend at the time, lived in it for a couple months and then sold it and went back to the States. And it was amazing and I always wanted to do that again. And so about 10 years later, um, I was headed to Burning Man for the first time and trying to figure out where I was gonna stay, how I was gonna get there, and I thought, this is it. I should just do that, I should buy a van. Um, I'd always had a dream of owning a Volkswagen van, and so I bought Freya, Freya the van, and headed down to Burning Man like two weeks after buying her, and anyone who has a Volkswagen knows where this story is going. I broke down on the way, <laughs> ended up stranded, and that was like my introduction to being a Volkswagen owner, and you know, it's been a journey ever since. Got her all fixed up, have replaced just about every single part by now. We're in it for life at this point. Burning Man was one of the things that really helped me step into being a professional artist full time because um, when I went the first time I saw all these amazing people making art, uh, spending months out in the desert in community and uh, living in these you know cool tiny homes and I thought I want to be like that. How do you get to do that? And I realized that to do that I would really need to take control of my life and uh, work for myself. So it gave me the motivation to kind of up level my professional skills, the business side of my art practice so that I could be doing it full time. It was four years later I found myself on Playa for almost three weeks and I was I had taken the month off. I was making art projects. I was fully self-employed as an artist and I realized, wow, I, I got here, I did this. My portable camping toilet, which is one of my art projects I'm doing for Burning Man this year. And this is the Potty Goddess. And this is a very high-tech composting toilet made from a five gallon bucket with a clip-on seat. This is the goddess of the potty. She loves to take the things that do not serve you, your waste and refuse, and she is hungry for it. It's headed to Playa this year, and it will be living in my van permanently from here on out. What I would say to girls wanting to get into outdoors and into van life is first, just do it. It will reward you in ways you can't imagine. It will make you so much more powerful, happier, resilient, able to cope with the challenges of being a woman in the modern world. And then how to do it, I would say, uh, find other people to do it with. Uh, it's scary to do it alone as a woman. I still feel scared to camp alone a lot of places. Um, if I'm by myself, I'll typically stay in more registered campgrounds. But I've cultivated a great community of other women, other campers who I can go places with. And that um, gives me a little bit more bravery to like go down an unknown road or maybe try something I don't know how to do, like like go rock climbing or river rafting. So really finding, finding people that can partner with you and teach you the skills you don't have. And then it also just, you know, make you feel more safe. There's a lot of apps now that support people in getting outdoors and great online communities and Instagram accounts to follow. And I found a lot of um, community through those tech spaces as well. The piece I made for Peace Fans was inspired by how I feel when I'm on the road camping in my van. It's a woman, she's by herself and her hair is blowing in the breeze. This kind of magical cloud of mystery and nature and sparkle and fairy dust like kind of blooming behind her. And that's what I get when I'm out in nature and on the road. It's just that sense of freedom and fun. And that's what that piece is about. I'm Gabrielle Abbott and I'll see you on the road.